Hi, I'm Lainey Russell and I manage the Post-16 Achieving Further programme for Achievement for All. This month in December, we're coming towards the end of our first term and we're looking at English retakes. Yes, I know, you're holding your head already, aren't you? Um, often when people are having to retake their GCSEs to get that elusive C grade or, or grade four, it causes quite a lot of stress for them and both the people teaching them. That often causes some behavioural issues. Some of them are low level, uh, some of them not so low level. And often when I'm working with staff, it's the behaviour that causes them quite a lot of stress in managing those students to even get them on board to start doing some work on English. And a lot of that is caused by boredom if you speak to the students. They've done English for quite a long time at school and unfortunately some of the curriculum is going to be the same, isn't it? So you're going to have to teach them the same sorts of things as they did at school and some of those things they find boring. However, they've got that bad experience from school as well, haven't they? So it's a double whammy. They've learned not to try and sometimes they've learned to play the fool or do very little so they don't look stupid when they can't do something. So you're also battling with that as well, the fear of failure. You need to find ways of motivating them. And a the technique that I used with somebody recently, we were looking at Jekyll and Hyde and they could see no relevance. Uh, they weren't interested, they didn't want to read it. And I didn't talk about Jekyll and Hyde for a bit. And then I started to talk about um, just general things, sort of, you know, what would happen if, if somebody took all the rules away in life and there were no rules and there were no police and there was nothing governing us? I wonder what we would do as human beings. Like, what would we, you know, what actions would we do? What behaviour would we show? And we started to have a discussion about if someone took the barriers down, what we would do. And then if somebody put the barriers up, how we act differently. And once the person really got into that conversation, and there's actually some social media and there's some stuff on Netflix that all relates to this. I then said, you do realise that's like Jekyll and Hyde, don't you? And I said, what do you mean? I said, well, that's the two extremes of human nature. When you've got no inhibitions and you go off and you can kill, and then you do have your sort of social uh, constraints and you have to work within that. So you can use lots of things that are current and youthful within the English programme. Management is also personal. So when people say to me, but how do we manage this class, Lainey? Um, I always say, oh, look, I'm not being difficult, but I need to come in and have a look at it because actually you're part of the environment and the dynamic. The students are part of it. The situation that you're in, the environment that you're in, and others who comment on your subject outside of your room. So you need to work as a team. So if you've got certain areas of your college that are saying, oh, well, you know, you don't really need English for that, but you've got to go. They're some of the people that you need to get on side and work with in terms of putting English into the context of the other things that the students are doing. We've got lots of great examples where colleges have really turned it around and achieved a lot more. So if you'd like to hear more good top tips and what we've done with other colleges, please do get in contact with us. You can go to our website, you can look at our social media, you can email us or you can phone me directly and we can have a chat about how we may be able to help you. Thanks. Thank you.